like share and subscribe visit our official website at spiritmeaning.org the sri suktam is a devotional sanskrit hymn mentioned in the rigvedic kahalanis kahalanis are the appendices to the rigveda it contains 16 sacred verses most likely composed during the brahmana period and later added during the upanishadic times the brahmana period is the time between 900 to 700 bc when the brahmins gathered sacred hymns into samhitas or collections this spiritual chant extols goddess sri the consort of bhagavan mahavishnu any mantra or stotra needs a qualified guru to guide them properly through this sadhana process in case of vedic mantras one needs proper training in intonation and chanting with the correct vedic meters that are predefined for every mantra also there are additional timing rules for reciting specific vedic mantras accompanied by proper rituals taking up any spiritual practice without consultation of a spiritual guru is like wielding a double bladed sword without the guidance of a master the result will always lead to a fatal injury the advice of a spiritual master can lead the sadhaka through the hard path of devotion with ease the sri suktam is the first text that draws the similarities between devi lakshmi and goddess sri later it associates the goddesses with the fire god agni it briefly describes the goddess in her full glory it expresses her splendid luster her royal beauty and radiance that resembles the fire sun and moon the sri suktam addresses devi as the one who banishes her sister alakshmi the personification of misfortune and misery it further praises her as the bestower of wealth prosperity fame and devotion to those who fervently recite this hymn the hymn describes the consort of bhagavan mahavishnu as the mother of fertility and harvest it frequently mentions the motives of the padma lotus and gaja elephants which are closely related to devi lakshmi the sri suktam is an ancient hymn hence it is complex and detailed it describes devi in meticulous ways and prays to her for health abundance and compassion it mentions the names of different rishis like ananda kardama sridha chikalita etc who are sri putras or the sons of lakshmi there are in total eight forms of devi lakshmi which are together called the ashta lakshmi the recitation invokes the blessings of all the eight lakshmis in our lives you can watch our video benefits of ashta lakshmi stotram how to chant ashta lakshmi stotram to know more dear viewers spirit winning channel needs your help throughout the year we conduct various initiatives like providing food to animals supplying monthly groceries to old women and planting trees close to the sacred govardhan mountain near the birthplace of lord krishna your selfless donations will help us reach out to the needy the bhagavad gita describes seva or such service as an act of pure goodness in this age of kali so by whatever means possible please consider donating to the number displayed on the screen below you can do this via google pay phone pay or paytm if you have any questions please feel free to comment in the comment section below people recite these verses mostly during important lakshmi pujas and festivals fridays are also auspicious for the recitation of the suktam we shall now discuss the benefits of chanting the sri suktam only mantra sadhana can redeem the sadhaka from past karmic loads the power of this divine hymn removes all obstacles from life that hinder growth and success business and career shall see immense growth one will have no dearth of food and clothing one's family becomes supportive and family relations shall improve this hymn removes all nuisance and toxic people from one's life family toxicity and problems in relationships occur because of negative energies the positive energies invoked through the recitation of sri suktam and highlight all the evil energies the reciter his home and his family become purified just like a vibrant temple being the ideal divine couple sri lakshmi and mahavishnu 
bless the reciter with a compatible partner the recitation of the suktam dissolves all marital and financial issues as well lakshmi devi is the goddess of childbirth and child health hence recitation of the sri suktam also brings the happiness of begetting healthy children laziness and procrastination do not touch the sadaka who recites the sri suktam the process of chanting the sri suktam is as follows one should wake up early around 4 in the morning this period is known as the brahma muhurta in which the powers of the gods directly fall upon the earth the recitation during this period will attract the attention of the mother goddess much faster then one should cleanse his body through a bath and wear the vaishnava tilaka on the forehead sit on a sadhana asana in padmasan facing the east direction keep an image or idol of shri lakshmi narayana before you before reciting the sri suktam take a sankalpa of chanting it for 21 days without break then start the recitation of the hymn one should follow a strict lifestyle with discipline during this period one has to quit non vegetarian food onion garlic liquor and smoking only then one can be qualified to chant the stotra after the recitation offer dry fruit or gooseberry bhoga and finish the sadhana by paying obeisances to the divine couple the benefits of the sri suktam multiply when recited through the rigvedic style this vedic hymn contains the powers of rigvedic devatas and one can recite it only if they bless the sadaka one has to keep in mind that the sri suktam is not an ordinary hymn when one associates with the vedic hymn one has to follow a vedic life as mentioned earlier the guidance of an adept guru is compulsory when taking up any sadhana devi lakshmi is the deity of all auspiciousness and abundance people usually venerate her for material reasons she is the consort of the almighty lord vishnu and the mother of all creation hence one should approach her with devotion and love only when a child cries for warmth the mother wastes no time in embracing her infant similarly in this world full of sorrow and coldness only the doting affection of the divine mother can redeem an individual